I'm John Gonzalez. And I'm Amy Sherman, and we're about to have a Michigan's best day in Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids is Michigan's second largest city with plenty to experience and enjoy. We're gonna head across the river over to the west side, a neighborhood that's fairly booming with new restaurants and stores to explore. Some people even say the west side is the best side of Grand Rapids. So let's go find out. What are we gonna get here? Breakfast tacos! Here at Maggie's Kitchen, your history goes back a long way. I know back in the 70s, this west side of Grand Rapids was vibrant with just a lot of Mexican restaurants. You were one of the early ones. Well, Mexican food is not just for lunch, tacos, or dinner, it's also for breakfast. Exactly. A lot of people, they don't know that uh, we have breakfast, but we serve breakfast all day. So you can come anytime during the day, have huevos rancheros, or machacado, or chorizo and eggs. Breakfast tacos, John G. They're going in. The egg, it's got the chorizo mixed in with it, so it's all kind of combined, and it makes it like really co cohesive and delicious. It's a little bit spicy. A little spicy, but I love the potatoes in there too, because it kind of blends it all out and brings it all together too. Mmm. It's really good chorizo. I like how here too, it's like a, almost like a cafeteria. Like you walk up, mm -hmm. place your order, grab your yeah. food, come sit down on your own. It's old school. Simple. And there's nothing wrong with the Waritos for breakfast. <laughs> Cheers. Chang. <laughs> What's the story that the Mitten State is telling? It's a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Michigan great. Growing up here um, and seeing the development uh, that's been going on the west side, we want to be a part of that, kind of a revitalization. And what is it about the west side that makes it so special? I really think it's uh, all the businesses um, that have been here for a long time. There's a lot of uh, kind of partnerships and collaborations to kind of help the community overall. We had a design last year that we did with Mitten Brewery that's on the west side that helped raise funds for um, keeping people's heat on through the winter time. So all the money spent here kind of stays here. Your design is kind of that retro 70s, 80s vibe going on. You as the designer, I'm assuming make that pretty intentional. We do, we like to celebrate all things Michigan and that a, a big part of that includes its, its nature. So uh, anything having to do with the lake, Lake Michigan, uh, Mackinac Island, we love celebrating that stuff. But we also love celebrating kind of some of the really famous, well-known companies around here like General Motors, uh, and like the colleges like University of Michigan and, uh, and Michigan State. After having great success over on the east side of Grand Rapids in East Town with the original Harmony, you decided to come to the west side and open Harmony Hall. Heck yeah, the west side is awesome. We opened in February of 2012 and then shortly after that, Grand Rapids was called Beer City USA. And then you were like, sweet, we made the right call here. <laughs> yeah, we were in the exact right place at the exact right time. So. In addition to the beer, um, you guys really became known over in Easttown for your pizzas. Uh, we had to get a kitchen in this tiny little building that we had, and it just made sense to do a wood-fired pizza. I love pizza. Grew up in Chicago. I've got a pizza background, so we ended up making some pizza, and we ended up uh, being just as well-known for our pizza as we are for our beers. We've picked Harmony now twice for Michigan's Best Pizza. Mm -hmm. What is it that sets them apart from other places? Well. First of all, the crust is fantastic. I like a thin crust, but it has to like hold the ingredients, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get the big, thick crust or medium crust even, and it'll just kind of be floppy. Mm -hmm. um, like their sauce isn't overly sweet, just sweet enough on the tomato sauce. And then I like the creativity as well. I love how the wood oven um, blisters the crust mm -hmm. and gets the bubbles going and gets this super caramelization, which some people might say is burned, but that's what you want on these thin yeah. crust pizzas. No that's how they traditionally are made. And it gives it so much flavor, like a depth of flavor, which mm -hmm. I think is really good. And I agree with you on the sauce. It's just the right balance between a little bit of garlic, lots of fresh tomato flavor. The fact that they reflect the neighborhoods that they're in. If you're yep. in East Town, you can get the good earth which is vegetarian and right. that's a big thing in East Town. But here you can you can get the West Sider that's got the capusta and the Polish background.
know it's happy hour now. It is. And I kind of feel like a beer. I kind of feel like a cocktail. You know what? Here on the west side, we can do both. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. <laughs> Our goal, uh, first and foremost, was to make the best spirits in the world using local ingredients right here in Grand Rapids. And we wanted to do it in the neighborhood that we call home. Uh, the west side, this neighborhood in, in particular was where we wanted to be. We opened in 2015 and we've won some really great awards. Our Aquavit is probably our most award-winning spirit. Uh, it was uh, best of show at the American Craft Spirits Association Awards last year. Aquavit's really interesting because you know of your gin with your juniper, right? Yeah. But the Aquavit is a Scandinavian drink which Absolutely. uses a uh, caraway and dill, right? Absolutely. Absolutely, yep. Uh, it's a fun uh, new upcoming category, I think. Um, that's, it's a kind of a riff on a gin for a lot of people that are unfamiliar with it. All right, John, what do we have here? This is the Wise Blood, which is their... Named after me, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's strawberries, locally grown strawberries, vanilla, and a little bit of cardamom. Oh my gosh, that's so fresh. The strawberries are just right, not too sweet. One of the things I love about the cocktails here at Long Road is that they always kind of surprise me. Like they might be described one way on the menu, but when you get them, it's always like this surprising burst of flavor. And this one, like the vanilla is really forward and then you get that citrus and then the, the botanicals from the gin. A great to be day a wise on, blood. on the west side. <laughs> So Chris, you guys have a fantastic spot here on the west side. You're located in an old firehouse. It's one of the city's only remaining functional Victorian buildings. And then why did you choose the west side? The west side had not been home to a brewery since Prohibition. And honestly, a lot of people thought it couldn't be done. And we used that as motivation. You like a challenge? Absolutely. <laughs> you also have, um, in addition to the history, a sense of baseball. And that was something that was kind of important to you and Max as well. Max and I are big baseball geeks. And you've had your beer on tap at Tiger Stadium. Yep. Tiger Stadium, all the minor league parks in uh, Michigan as well. When you saw that your beer, Peanuts and Cracker Jack, was going to be on tap at Tiger Stadium, how'd that make you feel? Indescribable. It is such a pipe dream. When you see it come true, it's almost, uh, it's, it's surreal. Now they have some really great named beers here. They've got League of Their Own, yes. which is a blonde, uh -huh. Mitten Pale Ale, The Stretch <laughs> Session Ale. That's right. And one of my favorites, the Put Me in Kolsch. That's a great name here. <laughs> I'm ready to play. <laughs> so Amy, when we're on the west side, you love coming to Sovin Guard. Why is that? Uh, I think it's the best restaurant in Grand Rapids right now. The food here is Scandinavian inspired, so it's finally something new for Grand Rapids. Yeah. Uh, you can get the s'more board, you can get incredible charcuterie platters um, with that little hint of something actually different for Grand Rapids yeah. um, that makes you kind of feel like you might actually be on one of the other coasts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the whole environment, the vibe here. That shipping container bar out back is pretty awesome. I mean, this truly is a hidden gem in Grand Rapids, I think. Ah, and speaking of food, Amy. <gasps> this looks fantastic. This braised pork, it's got this crazy corn puree on the bottom with these beautiful roasted local potatoes. Pork and corn is good together. <laughs> so tender. He said it was milk braised, right? Oh my gosh, so tender. A lot of flavor in there. That sauce is incredible. Three distinctly different dishes, but all so good. with some delicious breakfast tacos at Maggie's Kitchen. Then head across the streets from Michigan's best pizza at Harmony Hall. Don't forget to get some shopping in along the way. And then head on over for happy hour at either Long Road Distillery or Mitten Brewing Company. And end your night at the fabulous Sovengard, playing bocce ball and eating incredible food. That's how you spend a Michigan's best day on the west side of Grand Rapids. For more information, go to MLive.com. Cheers. <laughs>